Hey guys, welcome back. Matt DeWitt from MWD Adventures. Thanks for joining us on this adventure as we head back to Pennsylvania Cook Forest State Park. We're returning for part two of our trailer series where we're talking about the modifications and the different questions we asked trailer owners at our last camp out. This took place in September. If you're not familiar with the video, there's an overview video. We'll link it down in the description down below. So Wendy and I walked around and asked each trailer owner a series of questions. One, what's your favorite modification that you've added to your trailer this year? And two, if you were going to build a trailer today, what is one thing you would have either added to the trailer or deleted from the trailer now that you've had it for a while? So without further ado, let's get right into it. I have Keith and Sally here with me. So what is something that you wish you would have added to your trailer from the factory? I think probably the solar panel mm -hmm. would have been something I would really like to have. Yeah. Is there anything that you ordered that you're not using? No, we, we <laughs> spent a lot of time going over everything that we thought we mm -hmm. would want. And so we did that before we, and, and before we even called, right. we did our list. And yeah. then when we called, we did everything. The only thing was we wanted that shelf inside mm -hmm. and I had to kind of add that later. Okay. But they were great. Mm -hmm. They, they, they gave just, you the extra supplies mm -hmm. for it. And yeah. we just paid for the wood and everything was fine. Nice. But yeah, it's, this has been the most fun I've ever had camping. Well, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your favorite mod that you've done to the trailer? Ooh. I don't know. I think the solar, but the back for I her. The yeah, I like the, 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 the galley's the favorite. Yep. Yeah, that's my favorite. Definitely. It's and convenient. I'm, I'm kind of like Matt. I love the lights too. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I think that's a guy thing. I, I don't know. I think he's got lights. Every, all, uh, boxes and boxes of lights. And you can. You don't have to reach far, and you've got a light. There you go. On. We, we I thoroughly don't. enjoy this. The, oh, I tell you that Max fan. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh, it is. And and we were going to get the other one until we started hearing y'all talking about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we said, no, let's just upgrade to that yeah. one. I'm glad The part for me is that you can have it open in the rain. Right. right. Yeah. 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 That's huge. Like, if you decide to go for a hike and all of a sudden it starts raining yeah. and you're gone, like, you don't have to worry sure. about it. I like it, too, even having it closed when you're driving home mm -hmm. and leaving it on if it's been wet. Oh, Just yeah. to kind of get everything out. Mm -hmm. That works really well. Yep. Nice. All right. Well, thank you very much for thank sharing. You. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Alan Gallagher, uh, A.K. Moose, um, outdoorsy backpacker. There camper. we go. So you have your hiker. What is something that you wish you would have ordered on your hiker to start with? Well, I got the AGM battery. Mm -hmm. I wish I probably would have gotten uh, the lithium. Okay. But down the road, I'm probably going to do that conversion. Yep. Very good. Yes. And then do you have a mod that you've done to your trailer that you're proud of? Uh, the spring that is on the solar panel. Okay. Yep. Uh, galvanized spring was like two bucks and the back hitch safe. Oh, yes. Yep. Uh, just in case I get disconnected from my keys mm -hmm. and I want to get back to my car and get out of the situation. Right. Very good. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. I have Corey here with me. So what is something that you wish you would not have gotten on the trailer or something that you wish you would have when you ordered it? Uh, the lights. They're just too bright. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is nice that they're there because if you want to modify them, Mm -hmm. The wiring is already there. True. Um, but they're just, all the lights are just so bright, and I know you guys know that. Yep. Uh, things that I wish, I was really frugal with it, and pretty much everything I bought had a purpose, so I don't think there's anything, because I was looking for the weight, because I was towing with the Subaru. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there's anything that I really wish I would have ordered. Okay, good. Yeah, good. And what's your favorite mod that you've done to the trailer? Uh, two things. The tray for the wash station and the touch light for the dome light. Mm. Yep. Very nice. Yeah. Those uh, are definitely good things. It's nice because you don't even have to use your hand. You just put your foot up there and the light goes <laughs> off. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for showing your trailer. Thank you. I have Sherry and Rick here with me. So what is something you wish you would have put on the trailer that you didn't to start with? Mm, I would go with the air print just for the ventilation. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes it's kind of cold having the air come over your exactly. shoulder. And yeah. then you have to towel down the inside when you don't because there's condensation. That's what I did this morning. So. Yes. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. And so is there a mod that you've done to your trailer that you're proud of? 
I still got to come up with a place for my spare tire. Uh, yeah. I've got a spare tire at home. Okay. And luck, luckily, the one on the Jeep will fit this, but it's yeah. going to look funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the, I like the slide out table, you know, because that's where I put the toaster and coffee maker and all that kind of stuff right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Extra space. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks for sharing your trailer. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Well, good morning, Dennis. How good are you morning. today? I'm doing good. All right. So last year you had just gotten your trailer when you came to the camp out. <laughs> yeah. So what have you done to it this year? So far I've added under lights, um, an outlet inside. I've added a bed frame and my fold down table so I can put my coffee maker right next to bed. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's definitely very cool when you see a single person in the trailer because there's a different layout you can do on the oh, inside. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot more uh, flexible than having a bed going all the, the way whole, across. Filling the whole thing up, <laughs> exactly. Um, I've modified my little air conditioner, which I don't have with me since it's nice weather. Mm -hmm. um, but it sits on the little table and vents right out the window. Oh, perfect. So I don't have any extra holes. I just have to remember to bring my plate. <laughs> <laughs> For the window part? Yes. Yes. Yep. And um, the only regret I've got so far is I didn't order it with the uh, air conditioner prep. I should have. Living in Louisiana, that was a mistake on my part. Being in the south where it's more hot and yep. humid. Yep. yep. Uh -huh. But uh, I would suggest doing that even if you don't have a air conditioner picked out. It's definitely the way to go. At least have the option available down yes. the road if you need to or want yes. to. All right. Um, so far, the only thing I've got on the trailer that I have not used is the water tank. Mm. But I hope to use it next year out west. Okay. So that's a lot of bottled water to carry. <laughs> very true. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, good. Thank you very much. Well, thank y'all for having this event. Yeah. I uh, appreciate meeting all the other people and seeing the, the different mods they've done. Mm -hmm. Gives you lots of inspiration. <laughs> oh, yes, and and keeps my bank account drained. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I have John and Tina here with me. Yeah. So you purchased this from someone else, correct? Yeah, I bought it used off a young man in Denver. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So, what is something that you would have added or something you would not have put on it if you had ordered it yourself? Something I'd have done different? Probably just more little 12 volt outlets, mm -hmm. one ton outlets, and just made the, the wiring more user friendly. Yeah. It was, it's a pretty basic setup. But that way you can kind of make it your own. And you can. Right. It's just, if I'd have had them do it, it would have mm -hmm. all been ran through all the raceways and it would be true. Sure. started. So. Yeah. That would be the one thing I'd do, just put your 12 volts and your 110s inside and outside. And yep. Just make sure you got what you want. Yep. So. And what's a mod that you've done to the trailer since you got it that you really the, like? The refrigerator mod. Yes. It's huge. And we had that made ourselves, a friend of ours. Okay. And we gave him measurements, and it took him probably four months. We didn't hear from him, and finally he said, come get your box. <laughs> we drove up there with the trailer, and we went to set it in, and I mean, it just perfect. Huh? like a glove. And you're able, how big of a fridge do you have in there? That's an Iceco 75. 75, wow. So yeah, it's a dual zone mm -hmm. refrigerator freezer. Nice. It's working out really well. And really then what well. are you using on the other side to power all of this? Well, after after lots of YouTube channels and reading and everything and going down the solar rabbit hole, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I bought the Blue, Aid, Blue Eddy okay. AC 200 Max. Nice. And so far it's doing everything we want it to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a nice unit. It's nice unit. Very so, good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with Hiker. I, uh, we did a lot of, a lot of research on every mm -hmm. little teardrop and travel trailer, and it's worked out well so far. Oh, good. We call it the hunting lodge. The hunting lodge. Yeah, it's Jack's hunt. It's Jack's <laughs> hunting lodge. So. Oh, great. Well, I'm glad you're part of the Hiker family now. Yeah. Well, thanks for the invite. Thanks I'm glad for the you guys invite. put all glad this together. Being, yeah. It Not makes it problem. fun. I'm going to walk around and see 50 other hikers and get see how, see how many things I haven't thought of yet. Right. So your honey do want. your honey wish list that's is going exactly to get right. longer and longer. That's exactly right. <laughs> so, yeah. all right. Well, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So we didn't get to talk to him, but Greg and Sarah had this really ingenious idea. Took a piece of tarp material and him the edges, put some eyelets in, and then took some number two S beaners, ran them down to some eyelets that are drilled into a piece of wood dowel and then ran a piece of cord down to the ground with a single stake. 
This creates a nice little rain break, a little bit of privacy for their window, and doesn't allow any of the uh, rain in during a storm. So pretty ingenious little idea. Hi Wayne. So what is something that you would have added to the trailer or something that you added that you really find that you don't use? I really wish I got in a refrigerator box. Okay. That was the, uh, uh, now looking at other people's refrigerator box and, and with the visitors from recruiters last night. Yes, uh, there's refrigerator lots of raccoons box, around yeah, here. <laughs> would have been, it would be super nice. So I probably will exchange the toolbox out and have a refrigerator box put okay. on mm -hmm. uh, just for safety, security, and gives me a little more storage space. Yeah. And then what is some mod that you've done to your trailer that you're really proud of? Oh, well, I really like the, the clothing storage. Mm -hmm. So these are from Amazon. Uh, they're two separate units, so we get a little shelf. Mm -hmm. And uh, we get uh, lots of storage for our clothes. Yeah, it looks like a nice organized way yeah. to do it. Well, don't open the drawers. <laughs> well, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I see you travel with a pet. Mm -hmm. Any tips for traveling with pets? Uh, smaller the better. Uh, he's a little Yorkie, so he doesn't take up a lot of room. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, yeah, if we had a bigger pet, bigger dog, I think it'd be more difficult. Mm -hmm. But with this little one, he, I mean, he just curls up next to us and he's fine. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you very Thanks. much. Thank you. <laughs> I have Bill and Paula here with me. Yeah. So what's a mod that you like that you've done to your trailer? Well, I've done a couple of things since last year. One of the things that I saw thanks to uh, videos from other hiker mm -hmm. uh, trailer owners is the 23-0 shoe bag, uh, which normally hangs on the uh, rooftop tents. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. But we've struggled with where do we put our dirty, sandy shoes mm -hmm. when we come in at night. And so this bag opens up and then uh, it's plenty big enough to put boots or shoes in. Put another bag in it. And then we put another bag in it to you know, contain all the dirt and everything. Yep. But then to mount it, uh, we just bought some uh, awning channel and uh, put it on the track of the door right here. And then that just slides in and out. So you can take these in and out, no problem. So it makes it real easy for us to take care of our shoes. Yeah, that's always the, the struggle because you don't really want to put dirty shoes in no. on your bed. And what do you do with them? How yeah, do you keep well, them dry if it's going to rain? Right, right. So. Or animals carry them off. Well, that's you know, true. We've heard about people having animals carry off their shoes. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing I did since the last hiker trail or trailer riding <laughs> was to add some corner shelves. This is uh, better organized than last year if you go back and look at last year's <laughs> video. But we've got these Sidio uh, boxes and some corner shelves, and that's helped us contain some of the things and make it a little better. We're, we're still working on. <laughs> yeah, towels and washcloths. We would have cleaned it up. Vegetables, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, uh, we're getting better. Yep. We've got some healthy food in there. The boss is zooming out of that stuff. <laughs> All right, so is there anything that you wish you would have ordered from Hiker or something that you did order on it that you haven't really used? Or uh, are you just really dialed in? Um, you know, we haven't really used the awning yet. I know oh. that when we get out in the west where there's no trees, mm -hmm. we'll probably use it more. The biggest problem we've had is rain. And so the gazelle oh, uh, yeah. canopy has really helped us with yeah, the, uh, the rain yeah, and rains. bugs. So uh, uh, the awning, maybe I would have held off on. The one thing I didn't order was solar, but I had the intention of doing my own solar. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, 200 watts of solar and a lithium battery and everything so we're all set with that but it was uh, nice to have the uh, uh, option of adding those types yes. of things later so definitely yeah. all right well thank you very much well, thanks <laughs> maybe next year we'll look better in the back <laughs> well, <you're> graduating. no <laughs> problem this is just third year, year yeah if we keep watching matt's videos we'll get some more ideas yeah let's keep them coming <laughs> yep so if you follow my channel at all, you know that I love lights, especially area lights and amber lights. Bill gives us a demonstration here of a product that I've seen on Instagram called the Devos Light Ranger. And after seeing this demonstration, I think I'm pretty sold. This is a Demos Light Ranger. Saw it on Instagram as we find a lot of things. But it's uh, got a solar charge panel that they sell now that's 10 watts. And then it uh, is a bright light. But the key feature on it is you can get it up so it's not shining in everybody's face. 
So that's about nine feet. And it'll go uh, on high, I think, four to six hours. And I think you can get about 16 hours of it on the low setting. So as you cycle through, um, you get th three lights, four lights, or down to one light. And then if you hold the button in, you can even turn the power down from that. So it's uh, been a great thing for us to have at camp because it lights the area and you're not looking into a flashlight or a, a light. So. Very cool. Thanks for sharing. Okay. The doghouse for you is what you're saying? No, I was thinking you sleep up there so I don't hear your snoring. No, I think it's the doghouse for you. Oh, okay. I'm Rick Sharon. This is my wife, Diane. Hi. This is Ivar, our dog. Gotta include Ivar. <laughs> so you said that you pretty much have your trailer honed in. You kind of picked everything out. The way you wanted it ahead of time. Yes. Yes. Is there something that you're very thankful that you did for this trailer? Yes, was the awning. So you got the XL, correct? We got the XL so we could get the awning so it would be tall enough for me. So you're not having to, to step duck under, under all the time, it. so I don't yeah. have to duck under. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was a big. He's getting a hunchback after a while with the other <laughs> trailers. I know. I know. The weekend, my back is killing me. Right. And then that's no fun because you're going camping right. to enjoy yourself. Exactly. Right. Um, is what's one mod that you've made that you're really proud of for your trailer? Well, I put the uh, jack stands on, which mm -hmm. uh, helped with the stability of it. So. Definitely. Yep. And those are some heavy duty jack stands. Yes, you got they there. are. Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. they are. Yeah. And they're easy up, easy down. So. It works well. Do you yeah. use a drill for them? Oh, yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Up and down in like two seconds. Her brother will be here. And these are all the, uh, oh, yeah. that's rigid. They work out great. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, yeah, and then I found out that peanut butter yeah, jars, yeah. recycled peanut yes. butter jars are great for holding things. <laughs> there you go. All right, yeah. well, thank you very much. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks mm -hmm. for stopping thank over. You. you were telling me about a really cool mod you made to your bed. Explain what you've done to your bed. So we took a futon that we already had uh, in the house and my carpenter husband refashioned the frame, the okay. wooden frame, mm -hmm. so it would lay flat and put some legs on it. So now we can elevate our bed. We use a futon mattress, so it's full size, but it works for us. And so then we can store things underneath the, the bed. So what kind of stuff do you store underneath it? Uh, we store mostly our camping tables, but um, other things we store, like our pudgy pie makers or our hot dog forks. Um, mm -hmm. We have a we have a like a grill, uh, like a a grate that we can uh, use over the fire. Oh, yeah. Um, so we store that under there. Um, when we're camping, on the other side, my shoes are in there mm -hmm. so they don't get wet at night because I don't have the awning. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, and we do have to use the uh, stools to get up in there, but since neither one of us are very tall, we can still sit up in bed if we want to. Nice. Um, and it's easy to reach into the, sh the shelves. Oh, uh, true. Because uh, you're so, that much closer yeah, to them. Yeah, you're that much closer. So this has been great. Love it. It just has a knobs on it. Oh, yeah. And then... Yep. Ah, cool. There's the futon uh, mm -hmm. frame, and then we, if we had anything long, we could slide it right in there. Sure. Wow. So that's sweet. That's the major modification. Very nice. So. Wow, look at that. Nice. So it's just a Velcro. Sure. Panel. Yep. But we got a, you know, we got six inches of depth in here. Yep. So. So you basically made your own divider on the top half. Yeah, some blocks there yep. and the blocks here. And then that, so it divides the inside from the outside. Very yeah, cool. It keeps the bugs out too. Yeah. It does keep the bugs Very out. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the same setup in the bottom then. Yeah. Just. Very cool. Yes. Well, thank you. You're welcome. All right, so I have Steven and Anya here with me. Nice. So nice to meet both of you. Yeah, thanks. So what is one item that you wish you either would have added to your trailer or you wish you would not have ordered? Probably the, the biggest thing is the pass-through. We would have not gotten the pass-through. Oh, really? Yeah. We filled up the galley already mm -hmm. with, with you know, food and prep items and everything. And so then we don't really use it as a pass-through. And so it just, why have it's, it yeah, why have, have it, it there. And so, <laughs> you know, now it's like, I don't, you know, don't want bugs in or whatever. Just, it seems sort of unnecessary. Yeah. Anything you wish you would have gotten that you didn't? 
I wish we would have gotten some kind of an awning for the opposite side of the 230. Okay. Um, that's my door. We have a shower yep. enclosure back there, but um, I wish we had something to cover mm -hmm. over so when I get out in the middle of the night, if I need to. New got ideas. the shower enclosure. That's mm, a game changer. That is definitely a game changer. Yes. Changing. And, and yeah. Changing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, so that's a big, that's brand new. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that would be about it. Yeah. Um, really glad we got the largest toolbox. Mm -hmm. Toolbox. Yeah. That was a. Yeah. That makes all the difference in the world. The bigger so what type you get, of things do you put in your toolbox? Uh, all the stuff for the hitch. Mm -hmm. um, all the stuff for electrical. So, you know, you never know what you're going to need. Like Tools. power cords and, you know, yeah. downsizing from 50 amp and 30 mm -hmm. amp because you never know what where you'll be. Yep. Um, tent stakes. Tent stakes. And, yeah, because I, I drill and... everything in. I don't I don't use a hammer anymore. <laughs> I'm too, I'm too <laughs> lazy for that. You just talked about that. <laughs> yeah, it's so, but we it's love such, them. Yeah, the, that's, the, that's such a put time the saver. drill on, on the yeah. drill in tent stakes. Oh, yeah, um, and just, yeah, and just extra, like a, even just a pad to kneel on. Yeah. Um, all the dirty stuff. Right. Yeah. So what is a mod that you've done to your trailer that you're, you would like to share with everyone? Um, I think probably the dressers inside. Um, mm -hmm. We put dressers in there. That was huge for clothes because yes. otherwise they're That's just a game end changer. up everywhere yeah or you got to have a duffel bag and it, it's a game changer yeah. having the having the five by ten gave us just enough room to put those yes. in and they fit perfectly yeah and they didn't add really any weight at all yep. so they fit like in front of the door yeah right yes. in here yeah right in that yeah. i'll be right and in then there. um the side tables did you make those the, yourself yeah i made those well i mean they're i mean i'd seen somebody else with it mm -hmm. but with the magnets on the back but i you know, shellac the heck out of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, that just gives you that little extra space outside mm -hmm. yeah. that, you know, you never know where you need to set things down. Yeah. And then the one on the other side fit, goes into the shower enclosure. So oh. I have a little shelf I can reach yeah, in. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. On the other side of the shower enclosure. So I can set all my stuff there. And mm -hmm. so I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I think those are the biggest thing. And then your organization of the galley. Yeah. yeah that's, Are you an organizer? I am. I am an organizer. I am. Too. I'll, I'll check yours out. <laughs> I will organize until the end to the nth degree. It's these, I will tell you, these were really hard to find. I was just telling Wendy, I spent four hours on Amazon oh, wow. with galley measurements trying to find uh, little cubbies that would fit. Wow. Um, and then dry goods go down here, and then these are all cooking. Very cool. Um, we love the um, oh, trailer you, valet. You've got a huge wheel there. Yeah, yeah, it's probably a little bigger than I need, but <laughs> but it works, and you can you, can, you can put a drill on it if you want to. And it works it um, in mud and dirt. So mm -hmm. and it's got big wheels on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're solid. And, and the tires. idea was that um, I could do it as well. Mm -hmm. So yes. if anything ever happened, we wanted to make sure that I could. I could move the trailer. I could get it. Yeah. I can. I can move the trailer to the jeep yeah. if I have to. Don't I actually drive it with it on. No. It's a little okay. big. I mean, you could turn it and flip mm -hmm. it and everything, but it gets in the, it, with the the short wheelbase and everything. It's you don't get as good a turn radius. So you, turn, you take it. On I take off it off inside. and put it inside. Yeah, okay. it, it doesn't weigh. It's not that heavy. I can lift it and just put it inside the jeep. And the cool thing about the adventure life with a small teardrop trailer or square drop trailer is a like-mindedness. No matter what kind of adventure rig you end up picking up, there's something shared with sharing a small space and we happened to stumble across this teardrop it was custom made it was on a harbor freight frame gentleman had made everything himself as much as he could it was an amazing build we just thoroughly enjoyed touring this and taking a look at it he had a lot of cool mods so thanks for taking a look at part two of the hiker trailer e4 event series we are going to have more video footage coming from this event. If you haven't caught up on what HTC E4 is all about, we have an overview video linked down below. We have part one linked down below. Feel free to check those out. Hopefully you can find something that you thoroughly enjoy in any of these videos. It will help inspire you to get out and do some camping. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Yeah, I did.